Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a good old haul. I have quite a few things to show you re re recently that I have purchased both online and in person. So I've been gathering these bits together for a while and firstly before I do my haul I just wanted to mention the jumper that I am wearing. Now this jumper if I can somehow show you a shot I have to probably put in a shot because yes I am too short. This jumper it's made by my wonderful friend Jean and a lot of you guys probably know her. She runs an Etsy store called Jeannie J and she makes pins and prints and I love her artwork so much. Her pins are like some of my favourite pins I own. She is so so talented and and she recently has started to release some apparel including this jumper and also a, another jumper which is actually black and both, de both designs are super 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 cool and she very kindly sent me one of these so I've shown them I've shown it in some of my in Instagram posts but I thought I would give it some love on my channel here but yeah this jumper is amazing as you can see it's a wonderful pastel pink colour and it says let's play a video game which you can't see because again <laughs> I am way too short but yeah this jumper is super cute this is a size small and it's like it's pretty long on me it's pretty oversized and that's kind of how I, li how I like my jumpers so for me this is absolutely perfect I like to mostly pair these kinds of jumpers with skirts as you know <laughs> skirts and jumpers and pastel sweaters is like my basic go-to outfit so these are absolutely perfect to me but but yeah, if you would like one of these jumpers, then I will leave the link to Jean's store down below. So, the first thing I'm going to show you in today's haul are a couple of things I picked up when you probably saw a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram. Me and a bunch of other kawaii pastel friends, which were them um, Sammy, Synth, Synth Pop Circus, Ellie, Queen, Jelly Belly. I'm probably going to get everybody's usernames wrong, so I apologise. Um, Jess was supposed to be there, it's that Jess, but unfortunately she was unwell, so hopefully she can make it next time. My mic has gone black, I miss Over Ophelia was there, um, Tanya was there, um, I'm so, my mind has just gone completely, like, I feel so bad now because, oh yeah, Jade was there as well, so yeah, so there was a big group of us and we spent the day in Comet Garden and Carnaby and it was really, really fun and of course we had to go to Artbox as that was like, Artbox is my favourite shop in the whole of uh, Comet Garden, it's kind of like the only store in L London really that really sells kind of like Japanese goods in that sense. I mainly purchased some birthday presents for a friend but I of course could not get anything for myself so the first thing I got is this really cute keychain. I will take it out of the plastic now I've been not I haven't used it yet because I'm saving for this haul but um come out so if you know the character the Samuel character Tuxedo Sam they recently released released a bunch of new merchandise for him and I got this adorable keychain thing of, with filming in front of a car park I think she's probably just looked and probably thinks I'm absolutely crazy but yes I'm just gonna carry on like normal and so yeah I got this adorable keychain and if, if you can see on the front it says tuxedo Sam and it's super cute and pastel and I can't wait to put this on a bag of mine and the other thing I got is okay this looks kind of weird it's um it's actually a cinnamon roll ring holder if you know me you know I love cinnamon roll apparently I can't hilarious I'm not gonna cut that out and I saw this ring holder and I really love rings so I thought this would be absolutely perfect and it actually comes with two rings in here I'll just take them out to show you I've actually not not worn them yet but it comes with two very cute cake themed rings these are so cute I love them. they're so adorable and the inside is it's got this I don't know if you're meant to take this thing out or not. Um, maybe. Oh wait, it has two layers. Huh? What? Okay. I don't. I don't really know. And it also comes with a little pocket mirror. That's really, really cute. So yeah. I thought I would just pick it up because I like rings, and I just thought it was a really nice and pretty decorative piece. The next thing being that I've gotten recently was my Valentine's gift from Stephen. Obviously, it was Valentine's Day last month, and this arrived a bit late, but I am not complaining at all. 
I've been obsessed with Persona 5. I got a uh, Persona 5 for Christmas from Steven and we've been like non-stop playing it on the Switch. I'm like 40 or 50 hours in now, so there's still a way to go, but like I'm loving it so much. So he thought he would get me a, a Persona themed Valentine's Day gift and he got me a Morgana blush. This is gonna be quite plushy themed, I think, this haul, but yes, yeah, so it's so big. Oh my gosh, look at him. I love Morgana so much. Wow, he takes up like, like, like the whole frame. Yeah, Morgana is amazing. And I'm very excited for the Persona 5 Fun Funko Pops that are coming out. I've got the Joker on pre-order, but I'm obviously going to have to get them all. And I actually think this was one that you could get in the, like, uh, Gacha or Krenge thing. Because it's got a Japanese tag and it says, like, Club Sega. So, yeah. Thank you very much to Steven for getting this for me. Next thing I got is something I've been after for so long. And just um, r around, I think it was on my birthday, I was like, oh, get myself something for my birthday so i finally got the new tamagotchi meets i'm an avid tamagotchi collector as you know i have quite a few tamagotchi guides on my channel and don't worry i will be making one for this as my next video i plan to um so yeah this actually came out in november last year but i was trying to hold off because of like christmas so i was like moving and stuff but i like i literally gave i <laughs> i've been off this for so long and i decided to get the yellow one because i have a lot of pink tamagotchis so I was like, oh, I'm gonna get the yellow one of these. Oh, it's so cute. I love it so much. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because again, I'm gonna be doing the guide on it. But yeah, if you're if if you know your color Tamagotchis, if you're into your color Tamagotchis, then you'll know exactly what the meets is about. But yeah, if you want to know or you want to see a guide about the meets because you've got one yourself, then stay tuned because that will be coming. Oh, and I just thought I'd I would mention I got that of Hobby Link Japan. I got it for about thirty five pounds. I think it was on a bit of a sale, and I did get customs charges. So be Warned. Don't buy your Tamagotchis off eBay most of the time because they are very overpriced. The next two things are a couple of Pokemon Center items. I've been after these for a while and I'm on a bit of a Glaceon kick right now. Glaceon is probably my favourite e e evolution and I was like, I need more Glaceon merch in my life. So they recently, well the Pokemon Center released a bunch of, they released a Dot Sprite collection and in that was a bunch of cushions and I was like, oh, I've got to get one of those. So I got the Glacier one. It's like, it's incredible. I'm really glad it shows this this way around the camera, but. So yeah, this is a cushion. Oh, <laughs> on the back it says Eevee collection. That's Eevee in, ja in Japanese. And they have one of these for every Eevee evolution. I plan to get one for Steven as well at some point so we can each have one on our like chairs in the front room because um, his favorite evolution is Leafy on. But yeah, this is just, this is just such, it's so nice. It's not like the squishiest cushion is quite hard, but I quite like that. Um, it's just, it just looks amazing. And I always make sure I take this off the sofa before I cuddle the rats because I don't want them to chew this. And the other Pokemon Center thing I got was, oh yeah, both of these I purchased off a Sunny Shore Pokemart. I've used a lot of different like companies and eBay stores in the past, but I thought I would try this uh, company this this time round, and I'm pretty, I'm very impressed. Unfortunately, I did get a customs charge, but you all would a lot of overseas purchases nowadays but yeah Sony Shore po Pokemart they're really good for having all the new items and stuff like that if you don't like don't want to use eBay so yeah I will also link their store down below but the other thing I got as you know the Pokemon Center likes to release a ditto collection themed plushies where they transform a bunch of Pokemon into ditto style and they released the Glaceon so I had to get it I also want the Leafeon too just look at his face. Just, just look at that. Just admire that. Just oh my gosh, <laughs> so cute. The labels also adorable too. I weirdly hold these labels too. But yeah, no, this is oh, so cute. I'm really happy to have this in my collection. I've also got like back there. You can't see, but just about up there, I've got a shaman, a clefairy, and I also. Yeah, I've got a Shaman and a Clefairy in the Ditto collection, but yeah, I definitely want to get more of these theme plushies because they are amazing. I was just filming for like two minutes and my camera wasn't even on. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, yes. 
Now we come to the last part of this haul and this is going to be a Chu haul. If you know the clothing brand Chu, they are a Korean clothing brand and they do a lot of kawaii and pastel clothing items in like the Korean fashion style which is pretty similar to Japanese fashion to be honest, it's just uh, sometimes a bit more on the sim simpler side. Fellow kawaii pastel YouTuber Pretty Pastel Please, she actually recently did a massive chew haul and she did it on the Hello Kitty collection which one of these items is from there but whilst I was on there I thought I'd get a couple more items and can I firstly say I'm seriously impressed by uh, Chu's like shipping it was so quick, I literally got it in like three days from when it was shipped and I got like no custom charges at all Saying that the DHL delivery man was an idiot, um, that's besides the point. It was very, very fast and efficient. They have an EN site now, so you don't like have to use like a shopping service or anything. That's really, really good. But yeah, the first two items I got are a couple of skirts as I was in. I stupidly put some of my pleated skirts in the tongue dryer the other week and I like managed to ruin them, so I had to take them to the cleaners to get them repleated, but they're not like. They're not quite as good as they used to be, unfortunately, which is my own fault. I don't know why I did that. I think I was just having a weird day. So yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get a couple more of new pleated skirts as they are like my everyday staple. So the first one I got is um, this very pretty peach one. I hope you can see that. You probably, there we go. Oh, there is a cat outside. <laughs> I'm getting distracted, sorry. Yeah, so this pretty peach one, it's, it's literally just a peach pleated skirt I mean the thing I like about the two skirts is they actually have an underlayer and they do have shorts built in underneath so that's really good especially against the good old great British weather and wind we need that here so yeah it's got a zip down there and a button and this is kind of like oh this is a size all of them are in a size S and they're all like to be honest they're all a bit big on the waist to me but that's because I'm quite small so a lot of things unless I can get in like extra small will unfortunately be a bit big but I like tuck stuff in and I wear like jumpers over the top so it doesn't really matter and they're like I'm five foot three and they come like above my knee just it's kind of kind of like a good standard like skirt length that you would want not too long and not too short for me but obviously if you're a bit taller than you might have an issue but obviously they come with short so you definitely have more security and the other skirt I got Oh, I can't remember the prices. I think they're like about maybe like I know the whole order was about £75. The Hello Kitty jumper was definitely like 40 or something. So it's pro pro these are probably about £20 each, I think, yeah. Um This one is well, it's kind of like it's a bit darker than the other skirt, but it's like a good it's a really pretty pinky peachy colour and it's got these gorgeous black checks on it. I love this skirt so much. I didn't really think I'd be into anything with like black on it, but I think it's a bit different to stuff other things in my wardrobe, so it's really really nice and I love this skirt so much. They're all like super comfortable to wear. I love two skirts, they're just amazing quality. Like even if they seem a bit more on the exp expensive side, Chu is a brand I always pay more for because their skirts and clothing items are really good quality and they last you for like ages. And the last thing in today's haul is of course I got You've obviously already seen me wear this but um, I got the Hello Kitty jumper with the ribbons on the sleeves. That is like my thing and I'm really digging pink and red right now. Yeah, it's super super long and cute and oversized and it's got the red, they're not even ribbons but they're just like bows on the sleeves and inside it's actually a really nice fleecy material so it's really cosy and warm as you can see it's got Chu X Hello Kitty as it's all like official Samio stuff because they did a cute collab. They had a really nice skirt as well on there that they were pairing a lot of the items with but it was sold out, damn it, <laughs> unfortunately. But I managed to snag this and I quite like how simple it is, it's just got like Hello Kitty on there. And yeah, this is just really cute and cosy and it's really good for this time of the year. So that is it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the cute goods I have picked up recently. Tell me down below in the comments which was your fav favourite thing or if you have purchased anything in the past recent weeks. Now I'm going to have a fun time clearing all this up. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. I love you guys very, very much and I'll see you next time. Bye!